Maxwell Cornet has scored his first goal for West Ham United, albeit in pre-season, albeit against Dagenham and Redbridge, but he is off the mark for West Ham. Of course, his goal last year against Chelsea was ruled out, uh, wrongly so, uh, but that is the only time he's had the ball in the back of the net for the Hammers. Now, he's an interesting player. He's someone that is thought could be offloaded this summer, and he's also someone that is thought could be part of Moyes' plans. He's such a versatile player that he can play left wing back, he can play left wing, striker, right wing. So he's definitely someone that I think Moyes wants as a utility player. Um, considering that we might be getting uh, rid of Antonio, there's also links that uh, I know Mark is probably already done by now about um, Gianluca Scamacca to Roma uh, in a swap deal for Divock Origi or maybe even just a straight signing. I think that's probably going to be a story for the whole window, Scamacca getting uh, snapped up by a club. I really hope it doesn't happen, but if it does, that will leave us with Danny Ings and Mubama. So having someone like Cornet at the club, who potentially I think would be taking more of a forward role, maybe even the left wing spot. Um, I think we may even play with two strikers this win, uh, this summer, sorry, um, with a 3-5-2 in Moyes' vocabulary coming up. Uh, and he has signs, uh, signs, sorry, and he has scored for West Ham. He scored his first goal. He looks full of confidence. And Kurt Zuma, which is a player who... I always think is a good character in the dressing room and someone that I actually do trust the judgment of said that Maxwell Corner is like a new signing. And, you know, I think you do get that as a West Ham fan. You know, he was, he had that completely strange, weird once in a lifetime West Ham injury that all these players get at West Ham. I'm not sure how much we're paying the medical staff. I'm not sure what sort of state they're in. If we, you know, if that's just a part of the department that we don't use at all, but for some odd reason, the transfer, uh, the, the injuries we get at West Ham are just truly remarkable. I'm, I don't know how we get them half the time. I don't know how they come to fruition, but I'm pretty sure the doctor said it was like one in like 25 or like one. in It was, it was like a, a really mental uh, number, it's not one in 25. I, I'm, honestly, I have no idea what the number was, but it was a very, very, I think he's only seen it like twice before uh, the injury. And he had to get a specialist thrown into France and uh, and to be honest, it didn't even look that bad when it happened. I was at the game when it happened and he, you know, he leapt for the ball for the keeper. He got fouled. He uh, won the penalty, but it didn't look that bad. And, and he was sort of limped off. And I think he took, well, that, that probably happened around sort of, I think probably around October, November, maybe. And we didn't see him until the back end of this season. So he is a player that could make a comeback at West Ham United. You know, like Kurt said, he is like a new signing. And he's a very direct player. Um, now, obviously, as I've said on the channel before, we are looking at signing Carlos Boyes, who is thought to take the left wing spot. Now, Saeed Ben Rama is someone that potentially could be offloaded to make that happen. Um, I think he is actually probably more likely to go than Maxwell Cornet at the moment, sadly, because Moyes and him just do not get along. I don't, I don't think Moyes trusts him at all. And uh, due to that fact, I just don't see him being able to do his career at West Ham. I think Moyes wants to move to a more direct left winger. You know, we saw the interest in Harvey Barnes. And I think because of that, you see why uh, he wants to go for a new left winger. And that's why he's going for Carlos Boyes. But Maxwell Corne, um, hopefully because of picking up another injury, will be a utility player. Like I said, he can play striker. He can play right wing. He can play left wing. And he can also play left wing back. If we're going to play a 3-5-2 next season, that gives us a lot of options for Maxwell Corne. Um, whether it be in Europe or whether it be in the Premier League, he gives us a lot of options. So I think he's a very smart player to keep around. And we saw what he could do at Burnley. You know, he, he scored some really, really important goals for them. And we beat a lot of clubs to his uh, signature when he uh, got sent back on loan. And I, I do think he's a smart signing. I do think he's someone that we sh uh, that we should be giving another chance at West Ham this season. You know, he's, he's had his injury record and... and He's had that chance to settle in with the squad. He's had that chance to make his friends and, and whatever you, ha you have it. But I think now uh, he's got a very good chance of actually breaking into that first team and being able to put a real mark on this season. Uh, I, I don't think there's much point in selling him. I don't think there's much point in keeping him on the bench. And I just think that giving him his chance this pre-season, he could do really well for West Ham. He was someone I was very excited to sign. Like I said, I love direct players because I think that's something we don't have at West Ham someone who just will pick up the ball and go for it. Jared Bowen really is the only player and Declan Rice that I think will actually just take the ball and just drive up the pitch, just go for it. And I think playing in a counter-attack inside, you kind of need uh, a more direct person who's just going to approach the goal. 
having someone like Ben Rama is someone better for if you're going to be slowing the ball down, playing possession football, you know, because he likes to lay it off to his left back and then, you know, find some space. And then when he finds the space, um, you know, he could pass it off to someone else or, or maybe find some room to shoot. Uh, ben Rama is someone who likes to work the spaces and likes to find the channels and dig out a cross or, you know, do a skill move and beat the player, try and run past the player and cut it back across the box. That's better if you're playing possession football, if you're playing in your opponent's half. If you want to play attacking football, if you want to play football on the break, you really need a player like Maxwell Cornet, someone who's going to be direct, someone who's going to just attack the defence. Um, you know, look at Bowen's goal in the in the Fiorentina game. Someone who's just going to play in behind, they're going to go straight for the goal and, and, and shoot and hopefully score. So I do think Maxwell Cornet is someone we're going to be keeping an eye on this summer. Whether he's going to leave, whether he'll be a West Ham player this summer, Honestly, I have zero clue. But as Kurt Zuma said, coming into this season, he's going to be like a new signing.